school and became active in the community's vibrant Armenian culture. As a young man, Mr. Magasayan came to America to seek his fortune like so many others. And he found it by establishing the Nitron Corporation, which has grown to become a truly global enterprise and powerhouse in its field. With his wife, Garcia, Torres is blessed with three children, Talin, Mark, and Gabriela, with whom he loves to share the wonders of his Armenian faith and heritage, passing on his devotion to the Armenian church and nation to his next generation. We are proud to honor Toros Mangasanyan as the 218 Armenian Church Member of the Year. Can I show us what's on high? friends and family. I am honored to be standing before you at my home parish of St. Gregorita and Lighter Armenian Church on the 116th anniversary of the Nazism Assembly. St. Gregory's has been home to me and my family for over three decades, and I'm overwhelmed by the strength of the community we are surrounded with. Four years ago, when I moved to Westchester County, we had no church, and we were a handful of Armenians in the community. I'm standing here today, proud to be a parishioner of St. Gregory's, proud to have contributed to, the, to our Armenian growth and profoundly thank you for this honor. I just need to have a small favor to Father Karakim. Father Karakim. <laughs> Four years ago, while our initiatives uh, in faith were strong, our commitment to the future of our generation was stronger, we set out to build a stronger Armenian community, and if you look around you, you will see our success. Our church is the foundation of the future generation, and it is my sincere hope that the torch will be passed on for the generations to come. Member of the Year means just that, one member, one year. The church member who celebrated today might be forgotten tomorrow. There is much we can never forget. The structures we have raised, the lessons we have learned, and all must be carried forward by the young generation of our community that joins us here today. As I accept this honor with a, great, uh, with a tremendous sense of gratitude, I would not be here without the support of my family, who remind me that the power of loving family can never be overcome. As a proud father, a proud Armenian, we must use our church family to continue to build an even better and stronger community, one we can all be proud of. Thank you very much. Bravo. Today is a great day because we are honoring a great person, Toros Mangasana.
To us, it's a long, 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 long time friend of ours. When we came to the United States, he was already here, and he's the one who kind of like told us a few things. I have always respected him in the sense that, not because he's a friend, but because he's a great human being, a great Armenian. His heart is a golden heart. He he's, feels Armenian in all his uh, body. And he is such a straightforward, generous man. He has always been very supportive of all activities in our church and in the diocese and also in Armenian causes. Any Armenian cause, you go to him, you say, you know what, we have a problem here. He says, how much? He doesn't tell you why and this and that. Toros, you're a great Armenian and you deserve this, this uh, medal because you, are, you have worked so hard in your life to help the Armenian cause in every way, either on the local way uh, or in the diocese level or at the Armenian level. We thank you. God bless you. God gives you a long heart.